Hey, it's Professor Dave. Let's talk about Benjamin Harrison. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. Benjamin Harrison was the grandson of ninth president William Henry Harrison, which was the only grandfather-grandson presidential lineage in U.S. history. Before ascending to the presidency, Harrison established himself as a prominent local politician in Indiana. During the Civil War, he served the Union as a colonel and rose to the rank of Brigadier General of Volunteers. After the war, he was elected to the Senate by the Indiana Legislature. Harrison, running as a Republican, defeated Democratic incumbent Grover Cleveland to be elected president in 1888. The major aspects of his administration revolved around extensive economic legislation. This included the McKinley Tariff, which raised taxes on imported goods in an effort to protect domestic industries from foreign competition. There was also the Sherman Antitrust Act, which prohibited certain anti-competitive business activities, and the Sherman Silver Purchase Act, which increased money backed by silver. The Land Revision Act of 1891 facilitated the creation of the national forests. Federal spending also strengthened and modernized the Navy and included proposals for federal education funding, as well as voting rights enforcement for African Americans. Federal spending reached $1 billion for the first time during Harrison's term, largely due to a surplus from tariffs. This issue was a primary reason for the defeat of the Republicans in the 1890 midterm elections. Later in 1890, an event known as the Wounded Knee Massacre took place. Troops attempted to disarm a Native American Lakota tribe, but things went south and both sides opened fire. More than 150 Lakota were killed, as were 25 soldiers in this great tragedy. Cleveland defeated Harrison in his bid for re-election in 1892 due to the growing unpopularity of the high tariff and high federal spending. He then returned to private life in Indianapolis. Many have praised Harrison's commitment to African American voting rights, but he is generally regarded as a below average president, continuing the succession of post-war mediocrities. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.